Welcome to the Implicit Differentiation Lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. Implicit differentiation is a very, very interesting beast. And uh, the way I like to explain it is by showing an example. Let's say you have the equation x of y equals 1, and you want to find the derivative of that. How do you do that? Well, normally the way you do it is you would solve for y, and then you take the derivative of that, which gives you y prime equals negative 1 over x squared. Terrific. Nothing to that at all. It's very easy to do. Um, this one is very easy to do. They're not always very easy to do, which is why we need to learn implicit differentiation. So using this exa same example, uh, we'll use this new technique. Uh, in implicit differentiation, you're going to treat both functions, or both variables, as if they're their own little functions of f of x. So this is going to be x of x and y of x, or you could call that f of x, either way. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, then we're going to be using a lot of chain rule type things with this, as long as product rules, or uh, quotient rules, the whole nine yards. Well, if we're going to take the derivative of two different, fu or, yeah, two different functions multiplied by each other, that's going to be the product rule. So let's just write that out right away. That's going to be x of x times y prime of x plus x prime of x times y of x equals 1. Okay, sorry, I had to double check some really quick there. Oh, I made a mistake. Zero. I knew that looked wrong. Because uh, when we're doing implicit differentiation, we're going to take, we take the derivative of both sides. And the derivative of a constant is zero. So that's where that comes from. All right, so now we have this little mess here. What do we do with this? Well, the derivative of x with respect with respect to x. The derivative of x with respect to x equals 1. So we can substitute that in. This will give us x of x times y prime of x plus y of x equals 0. Okay? Uh, shouldn't have any real problems so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to separate for y prime of x because that's what we're really looking for anyways. This is still 0. We'll subtract y of x from both sides. And that will give us x of x. y prime of x equals y of x. And then we'll divide both sides by x of x. So y prime of x equals y of x over x of x. Now we know our x of x is really just x. And the reason I was using this notation was uh, to really demonstrate the functions, really drive that home that we're using product rules and things like that. And y of x, well, we solve for y up here, it equals 1 over x. Oh, I'm sorry, there's supposed to be a negative in these equations too. So this is going to give us negative 1 over x over x, which equals negative 1 over x squared. Gives us the exact same route in just a massively more complicated and confusing fashion. But like I said, there's a reason that we do it. I'm going to do another practice problem. And while this is loading, uh, the reason we really do implicit differentiation is for problems called related rates, which we're not going to cover in this lecture, but this is a prerequisite to learning that. So now, this time, we're still going to keep it really easy. It's going to be y squared x squared equals 1. We're going to take the derivative of that. So now we're going to be stacking product rule onto chain rule and that kind of stuff. This is going to be a tremendous amount of fun. d by dx of both sides. And I'm going to move this to over there. 0 equals... I 
and just let me write this out really quick. Dx Alright, so, so far I haven't taken any derivatives, but what I've written is that we're going to take the derivative of this part, and we're going to take the derivative of this part. Grab a different color here. Derivative d by dx of y squared. We're going to use the power, power rule 2y, y prime. Why did we do this? That's chain rule. That is the chain rule right there that we did. We can substitute this down. 2y, y prime, x squared, plus d by dx of x squared. What is d by dx of x squared? Well, it's 2x. And to be rigorous, you could even say it's 2x, x prime. But we already know that this equals 1. 2x, y squared, all of which equals 0. I'm going to get off this green because this is a pretty annoying color. Go back to... How does this look? Yeah, that's not bad right there. Alright, now I'm going to separate for my y prime. 2xy squared equals 2y y prime x squared. And dividing this term through is going to give us 2xy squared over 2y x squared. We get to cancel a couple terms here. And what we get is y prime equals y over x. A little bit interesting about that. We have a derivative that is dependent on the original function. But you know, that makes sense. If you had y squared equals 1 over x squared, you know, what do you do with that? So that's uh, the introduction to implicit differentiation. In the next lecture, we're going to be covering related rates. See you then.